Hello everybody, hope you're doing okay. Uh, just wanted to stop by and check in really. We're in another period of strangeness, aren't we, where rules and guidelines are changing and when you get used to it, it seems to change again. And I don't know about you, but I don't know whether I'm coming or going half of the time. We've all got some big decisions to make and not much clarity on what's going on. So we just wanted to stop by. Um, I just want to encourage you with something. Um, I've written a few bits down, so if my eyes keep darting up and down, it's because I'm trying to read my own handwriting, so bear with me. Um, but I was thinking about that beautiful verse in Jeremiah, chapter one, verse five. It's the one we all know. Um, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. And it got me thinking that, you know, not only did God know we were going to be on the earth at this point in time, it was in his plan. It was in his plan for all of us to be right here, right now. And we know that God has plans for us, um, plans to prosper us, not to harm us. And so it's really, really significant that we are here now. In Esther, Esther was given this position of favour with the king. She was in a position to influence the king and um, ultimately save her people. And her cousin speaks to her in chapter 4, verse 14, and he says, uh, perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created. Perhaps this is the moment for which you have been created. And I want to throw that out to you. Perhaps this is the moment for which you've been created. I think it's just one of many moments for which you've been created. But now's the time to really ask God. I'm here now. And I'm here now because you ordained it, Father. So where do we go with this? Where do you want me? Position me where you need me. You know, my history is rusty, very much so rusty. But I don't think that there has been a time in our country's history where singing has been banned in churches, where people haven't been able to worship God with their voices musically. So here we are, a group of people longing to be worshipping together, longing for that, that corporate worship, and yet we've been silenced. We're here in a period of time in history where we're not permitted to do so. And if this isn't some sort of preparation for a really significant move of God, then I don't know what is. I really believe there is something in this and something big. Coming together again, I think it's gonna be a Jericho moment. I think that that sound that's going to be lifted up is going to be a Holy Spirit sound wave when we all come together again. And I believe that walls are going to be torn down. I believe that the earth is going to shake at that moment when we are all able to join together and lift God's name high and praise him and give him all the glory corporately together as one voice, as one church again. But in the meantime, we wait. We pray, we worship, we praise in the storm. Now, I read something this week on a website called Delight in Truth. And it says, when we come before God in worship, whether at church, at work or in the car, we must recognise, in fact, that we join a continuous worship taking place in the spiritual realm. Revelation 5.11 says, I looked again and I heard the voices of thousands and thousands encircling the throne. And in a loud voice they were singing, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honour and glory and blessing. When we worship, we join with angels in their worship around the throne. We are still part of corporate worship. It might not be together as we'd like it to be at the moment, but we are joining with that 24 seven worship that is around the throne room of God. So keep going. It's never, it's never pointless. Keep going, keep close to God. Heaven's not on lockdown. Heaven has never been on lockdown. The praises for our King Jesus are continuous and ongoing all the time. And we join with that. And whilst we worship him, our wonderful Heavenly Father, he's even singing over us. 
He's even singing and dancing around us. How amazing is that? How much does our God love us so much? So I want to encourage you, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. God hears it all, God sees it all, God never stops working. I said it before and I'll say it again and I'll always keep saying it. You guys were born for such a time as this. We are all here for a reason. I believe we are going to have a front row seat to something amazing. I really, really do believe that. So keep going. God's got big, big plans for you. If you need us, message us. We would love to pray with you. We would love to pray for you. We do pray for you. Every time we get together in our meetings and the amazing world of Zoom, we are praying for you. We're praying over you. Have a great week.